Okay, my <clears throat> YouTube peeps, I am um, collaging again, and I have not adhered this yet, um, because that's what I'm going to do now, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to show how I do that in case anybody is interested in seeing that. I think it's fun when I watch videos of people sharing their um, way of doing things. And uh, so, okay. First of all, the this bit here is um, it's, it's a pretty good size. You know, it, it's bigger than a letter size for sure but not a whole lot bigger. It's not quite as long as a legal size. So if I had to guess, I would say like 11 by 12 maybe, something like that. And then it's got these little corners, you know, that are like a file folder thing, but it's actually chipboard. It's um, pretty, pretty good thick chipboard. And so yeah, I wanted to use the gel medium or matte medium and I wanted to try that because it's kind of expensive and I'm trying to decide whether it's worth it. I know I put my background on and so I used a stamp book or stamp magazine about stamps and so they have like these like old looking letters and just really cool and I try to get uh, the lighter colors as much as I could and on the camera it looks a little more yellow than it actually is. Oh, well, there you go. See there? Looks better now, doesn't it? Um, yeah, lighting is interesting there. But So yeah, this is a little more the way it, it actually looks. So it, it's still a, ta a tinch uh, busier than I normally would like. But in any case, uh, yeah, I still... Uh, like it a lot and I think you know I did put like a, a thin layer of white gesso um, and so that did help to kind of send things a little more to the background by making them opaque a little bit more opaque a little bit more matte and so um, but okay so the first element here is this really large one and um, so I'm going to put it down, but I've got to kind of get a, an idea of where it's going to go because this lady's got to go on top of that. So, yeah, I've got to kind of do that and, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to kind of be like this because she's going to be like that. So, and you know. I don't want her to, I want her to overlap, but I don't want her to, you see here, her purse, or not purse, this is like a little old time radio, isn't that cute? I know there's like a glare, I'm trying not to be so glary, but there it is, and, um, and then I, I also didn't want this to come out so much, you know, but it's, it's not that bad, because I really want the bottom be flush and and the little radio vintage little radio thing to be you know in the frame so I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and adhere that and of course I don't have a very good setup right now with my video so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this because I'm doing it with like one hand so it's kind of do know I've already put you know kind of like how I want to do it and uh, so let's see if I can just yeah no and then the glare is just not okay so that's that's gonna be a problem and I, I need two hands so yeah I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of adhere a couple things and as I go I'm gonna come back and maybe um, attach 
small videos together to kind of show what it looks like in the end. So I'm going to give that a try. Okay. We'll see you soon. Okay, so I have adhered uh, the lady onto the barrel of lemon. And um, so now I think the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put this down because it's it's got a corner, you know, so I know for sure it's not an, a, a layer, you know, because you're layering, right? So you got to be thinking about in what order things are going to go in and... I actually did take a picture of the way that I wanted it to for it to look in the end because I might forget where things go or what goes first or what goes last and whatever. So, um, so yeah. As far as the wrinkling, I'm still seeing a lot of wrinkling. I don't know if it'll get better once it dries. Um, but okay, so I've now adhered the little rows there. And then I'm gonna get a little bicycle, but I think that for the bicycle, there's this, you know, big beautiful rose thing, which is actually backed with like a cardboard. So I'm gonna try to see if I can take it out. Let me see if I can take it out. Take it out of the cardboard, you know, because maybe. If I don't have to have the bulk, that would be better. However, I am a little bit afraid that it's going to tear. So, I'm already kind of feeling like it's tearing. So, I think maybe... Eh, it's, I don't think it's going to work out. I think I'm just going to have to adhere the whole bit. And, uh, yeah, I'm trying to remember if it was like this. I think it is. I'm not sure if this is recording the way... To. Of course, if it's not, I just won't put it on YouTube, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, and shoot for that because that's kind of more or less what's happening. And uh, so yeah, let's do that. And I was going to, like I said, try to, um, you know, not, I was going to try to not, not let the, uh, I was going to try to make it a thinner bit, but it, it's not going to work out because it was ripping. So unfortunately, I, it's not going to blend in as well because it's going to have a little bit of that sticking out part. But anyway, it will be fine. It, it's Sometimes it's hard for me to enjoy things because I am a little bit of a perfectionist. But, you know, that's got to stop. So, okay, so now I have adhered that. And I am seeing wrinkles, so not loving that. Like I said, hopefully you can leave some comments below about some tips and tricks for that not to happen. That would be greatly appreciated. Um, okay, so then now this lovely thing. Actually, I think this was supposed to go kind of in between one of these things. So, ooh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to tuck it in now. Because, and you know, it really doesn't go, I mean, it has nothing to do with the, um, okay, I'm going to try the thing again here to see if this is working out, let's see, if I can still pull it up a little bit and do that, let's see, okay, yep, it looked like it worked, so now I'm going to try to do that, um, there and then move it a little bit while it's still wet and then um, go back with this and like that let's see if that worked yeah look like it did so hopefully that um, it's gonna be okay and um, okay so the one thing I've noticed too is that um, with the wrinkles that if I keep kind of going back with the with the um, media mat medium, it does seem to kind of look a little bit better, a little bit. So I don't know. I guess we'll see when it's all said and done. So also notice that the bigger images are the ones that are 
gonna give me them more trouble there because they seem they seem to bubble a little bit more. Um, okay, so then the little bicycle. Let me see if I put a little more of this just to make sure there's yeah enough because I heard about like it bubbles because you don't put enough or something. So I'm being very generous with it. So let's see if that's true. Okay, see I kind of want it to overlap, but still be flush on the bottom. So let's see if that's what's going to happen here. Okay, let's see. Hmm, I think, I think that's it. Oh, okay, the little sentiment. Very cute. I do want it to be right here. And yeah, and then I'm gonna go back and, and put some color to kind of blend in some elements a little bit better. So, yeah. So that's it for this one. Isn't that cool? So cute, so cool. But I'm gonna go back now and put some, well, not now, when it dries you know, tomorrow or something. I have another one that I want to adhere that I've already kind of played with and I'm putting, you know, pieces around. It's a little more gothic kind of looking, a little weird. I love my little weirds too. So, yeah. As you can tell, I'm pretty eclectic. I love my very sweet and um, feminine. And then I also like uh, my very sexy and um, just stunning kind of, you know, a little bit, it's got a little bit of, I don't want to say darkness necessarily, but I guess it is a little bit of a darkness in it. And, you know, life is like that. I mean, it's, you want to be the light, but, but it's in the middle of the darkness sometimes. So, anyway. I'll see you in the next video. Please don't forget to like or subscribe um, or look at my other videos. I would really appreciate some feedback. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. Bye-bye.